Carolyn Duby here. What's the play for today? Well, today I'm sharing with you another one of the ways that I rediscovered how to let myself play. Now, this is a part of the Let's Play video series, and you can find out all about them over on the blog at a colorfuljourney.com. Lots and lots of videos in this series for you to check out. They're all about how do you get back in touch with that fun? You knew it as a kid, but how do you do it as an adult? Well, one of the best places to look for inspiration is to a kid. When kids get paints put in front of them and they don't have any brushes, they know it's going to be their fingers and they love it. So this is finger painting, making a background for an art journal page, but I'm not just going to use paint in this. I'm going to add a little sparkle to it with my fingers as well. So this is the page you'll see me create in this Let's Play video. Now, since I'm going to be diving in and doing finger painting, I'm going to do a little something here to protect my hands and make cleanup a little bit easier. By putting some of this barrier cream on, which is kind of like a lotion, that it's going to make it so, one, it cleans up more easily, and two, gives me another layer of protection to keep my skin from absorbing anything in from the paint that I don't want. So now I've got a couple of paints out here. I've got some orange, some teal, some dark blue, some white, and I am just going to start mixing them around. Now, if I mix orange with blue, I'm going to get mud. So I'm going to do my very best to keep one hand for the blues and one hand for the orange. We'll see how long that lasts, but that's what I'm going to try and do anyway. Now, as I stick my finger in that paint, you notice how I contaminated that dark blue. I got some of the paint in there. That doesn't bother me one bit. That stuff will come right out. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that with your paints, then you just want to put it out on the palette, on a paper plate, just out somewhere so you can dip your messy fingers into it, because you can see how quickly fingers get wonderfully messy in this process. Now, I'm a tactile kind of person. I love to have the feel of paint on my fingers. So for me, this is just an absolute way to get lost in the fun, smearing paint around. Now the inspiration for this comes from kids. When you hand a bunch of little kids paints, they want to smear them around with their hands. They are not concerned about how the composition is. They are not concerned if they are making a realistic drawing. They are just lost in the fun of making marks, putting colors in places, seeing what happens, and having fun with it. So I've grabbed some glitter paste here, and rather than getting out a tool, I'm just going to use my finger as the tool, staying with the whole finger painting. Now, just because it's called finger painting doesn't mean you just have to use paint. This is stuff from Viva Decor, and it's glitter, this wonderful coppery glitter. It is called glitter paste, and I am just going to dip my fingers, actually use my pinky to get right in there, and that way I've got some of it on there. I'm going to spread it around on the page. It's going to add a bit of sparkle here and there, and quite frankly, to me, sparkle is a little bit addictive, so once I put a little on the page, I kept wanting to add more and more. Now, if you'd like to know more ways to play, I have got a free workshop called Permission to Play that is loaded with all sorts of mixed media ideas, techniques, tips, that kind of stuff, as we build a cardboard art journal from the ground up. And you can find out all about that over on my blog at a colorfuljourney.com. Thanks for joining me for today's play, and thank you for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.